is the same with B Sharp Guitars again. With me today is a Epiphone. This is the Les Paul Studio. In case someone does have to be reminded, Epiphone is basically part of Gibson's little budget line. Just for Epiphone, yay, their guitars are based off designs of all the Gibson guitars, but instead of being made in good old USA, they're usually made overseas, typically in China and Korea, with some uh, sort of lower end woods, not to say they're bad, and just put them together, therefore they are a lot more affordable. Now this is kind of a bit of an interesting uh, bit right here, because the Les Paul Studio, when Gibson was making them, uh, I think it started around the 80s, it was meant to be a more budget line guitar because they really you know, took a lot of the, you know, the more fancy bindings, the fancy paints and all that sort of kind of you know, trim it down and you know make it a little more affordable and it's more designed for a studio or that working you know, class you know, level musicians. Of course the reason called studio because you know people aren't going to be taken on stage is something that meant to be played in the studio. So anyway, kind of moving on here, Epiphone, or of course, I should probably say Gibson, kind of set this up a bit further by making the Epiphone version. So how does a budget line from a budget line guitar sound? Well, if you like what you heard, I kind of like it myself. It's a pretty solid. Oh, I probably have to say for a lot less pulse, both the Epiphone and Gibson, it is pretty trebly. Actually, it has some uh, good edge to it. And I'm not complaining. Oh, that has your typical features. There's your humbuckers, there's your tunematic, there's your two bottoms, two tones. Got your set and neck. <clears throat> Now, one thing that kind of makes this particular Les Paul Studio more distinctive is that it has the trapezoid inlays. Because a lot of the typical Les Paul Studios, both the Epiphone and the Gibson, just have the little dots. As for the shape, it's in pretty good. I'm not seeing any obvious dings or scratches. Plays pretty good. I'm not having any fretting issues either. And does come in a hard shell case. As for, um... Kind of what level of playing skill I would recommend this for? It's a uh, I say pretty good for like a intermediate and on up. It's a uh, probably a little bit more than your typical beginner's guitar, and uh, like I said, it's a budget guitar designed for my budget guitar. So I think a lot of people look for something you know more professional could probably have the uh, money for something that's probably a couple of tiers up from this. But it's still not too bad, and if you just want to save money, can't go wrong. But that's about it, so I am Sam of B Sharp Guitars, over and out.